Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. Looking at part A of this question, we can see that we're being asked to find dy by dx in terms of x and y. So notice that this is telling us not to write y as a function of x and then to differentiate because that would only give us dy by dx in terms of x. So we're being told that we are going to look at the equation that we're given and we are going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So what we're doing is differentiating implicitly. OK, so let's have a look at um, the left hand side. So to start with, we've got to differentiate y squared with respect to x. So the little problem there is that y is not being given in terms of x. So what we need to do is to differentiate y squared with respect to y and then multiply by dy by dx. So what we're really doing is using the chain rule. So let's remind ourselves of what that is. Let's just write down how it applies in this case. So if we just let w equal y squared, which we're trying to differentiate with respect to x, then what we want is dw by dx. So that's going to be just using the chain rule dw by, and it's dy in this case, we can easily differentiate that with respect to y and then multiply by dy by dx. So that's just the standard chain rule. So in this example, because w is y squared, working out dw by dy gives us 2y, and then dy by dx, well, that's just going to be dy by dx. So that's the only really tricky bit of differentiating this equation here for the curve C. So let's write that down. We have got 2y dy by dx and then differentiating minus 3y with respect to x we get minus 3 dy by dx and then the right hand side of the equation when we look at that when we differentiate that we get 3x squared when we differentiate the x cubed and differentiating 8 will give us 0. So we have differentiated both sides of the given equation with respect to x. And the question is asking us to find dy by dx. So we've got the dy by dx in two places on the left hand side. So all we need to do is factorise. So let's write down dy by dx and open a bracket. And it's being multiplied by 2y and minus 3. And that's equal to 3x squared. So then dy by dx is going to be given by dividing both sides by 2y minus 3. So as requested, we have worked out dy by dx in terms of x and y. So it's 3x squared divided by 2y minus 3. So that's part A done. So now let's look at part B. So the question starts with the word hence. So that's telling us to use what we've just done. So it's saying find the gradient. The gradient is dy by dx. So let's just write that down. So gradient equals dy by dx. And then it's asking us to find that at the point where y is 3. So we need to do a bit of working out for that, don't we? So let's just get rid of the, uh, the chain rule. We've uh, finished with that now, haven't we? Right, so we've got a bit more space now to work out what happens when y is 3. So we know that for dy by dx, we need both x and y. So we've been given y, so let's just write that down. So when y is 3, so we need to find x. So we're going to use the equation that we've been given. So we've been given that y squared minus 3y is x cubed plus 8. So we're just going to put in the uh, value of y. So we've got that 3 squared minus 3 times 3. So, well, minus another 3 squared, that's going to be, isn't it? And that's going to be equal to x cubed plus 8. So that gives us an equation for x so that we can find what x is 
when y is 3. So the left hand side will be 0, so x cubed plus 8 will be 0, so in other words x cubed is going to be negative 8. So cube rooting both sides gives us that x is negative 2. Right, so we've got both x and y, so we can substitute them into our equation for dy by dx. So we've got 3 times x squared, so 3 times negative 2 squared for the numerator, and then we've got 2 times 3, subtract 3, for the denominator. So 3 times 4 is 12, 6 minus 3 is 3, so the gradient is 4.